Hello, potato. I feel like I need to take me a coffee break. So let's try a couple of caffeinated delicacies, this time in the form of the Rise Nitro Brewing Company's Oat Milk Latte and Oat Milk Mocha. Uh, they are dairy-free, so if you are somebody who's lactose intolerant or have other issues with dairy, there's an option for you. Naturally sweet, low acidity, clean energy. They contain 80 milligrams of caffeine, which is what? I think about the equivalent of a shot of espresso. One cup of coffee, it says on it. So easily less than I normally drink in a day, especially if I'm working. 150 calories for the mocha, 110 for the latte. Makes sense. Chocolate adds calories, right? Flavor means calories. Um... 8% and 6% of your daily fat. 8% and 7% of your daily sodium. And each has a single gram of protein. What's in these? Obviously there's more things than the mocha. Water, organic oats, organic coffee, organic cane sugar, organic sunflower oil, organic low-fat cocoa powder, potassium carbonate, presumably not organic to preserve freshness and sea salt. And in our latte, we have these same things, pretty much just minus the cocoa and the sea salt. Guess that's why the slightly lower sodium. We have, we have story, we have a story. What's the story? We're friends with one goal, make high quality, great tasting beverages with the best ingredients we can source. This, this nitrogen infused cold brew latte enhances our signature organic coffee with dairy free organic oat milk. It's creamy, naturally sweet, and refreshingly smooth. It's all good. Directions. Open to unleash the roar. That's nitrogen making magic. Drink it from the can or over ice. And it looks like there are no GMOs. I believe that means it's vegan and there are no nuts in it. So how could this possibly not be great? I guess the only way to find out is to try it. So let's try, I believe, the, the latte first. Why not? So we well, gotta hear the roar, right? Let's get it closer to the camera so we can hear the roar. Well, yes, that was definitely louder than opening a normal soda. I don't ever had the nitrogen infused stuff. I haven't tried it like from Starbucks or anything. Oh, looks like yeah, I get a little, little bit of a head of fizz on there. All right, let's open up our mocha and take a look at that. Listen for the roar again. I, I wouldn't call it so much a roar as maybe a death rattle, but hey, that's me. All right, so obviously our mocha is a little bit darker than our latte, which makes sense. Give them the sniff test. Yeah, that smells like coffee. That smells like slightly chocolatey coffee. So uh, hopefully these are better than the last coffees we tried on here. Um, those little espresso shot things weren't great. Let's give it a try. Mmm! Well, you can taste the oat. And, um, it's not great. I, you know, I was, I was kind of expecting these to have a little bit of a thickness to them. It's, it's not, though. It, it does leave a little bit of a weird feel on your tongue. But honestly, the thing that gets me the most is the fact that I, I can taste oat. It kind of tastes like I'm drinking oatmeal with a little coffee in it, which, to be honest, putting a little coffee in your oatmeal isn't bad. Um, I've done that. I, for a while, I was doing oatmeal in the rice cooker and, yep, put in a little bit of peanut butter, splash in some coffee just to thin it back out a little bit. Quite good. Quite good. This is just kind of weird. If you're wanting like a, a latte taste, you're, you're not getting that exactly. You're, you're getting more of the oat milk taste. But let's try our mocha. See if the chocolate covers that up at all. 
I'm not going to say that the chocolate covers up the oat taste, but it kind of makes it taste like one of those like chocolate oatmeal cookie things. You know, the ones that are like no bake, you push them into a ball and you stick them in the fridge to harden up. Yeah, it kind of tastes like one of those. Not bad, but not great. Not great enough that I think I would ever buy these again. I don't regret trying them, of course, but yeah, I mean, these will these will get finished, but they're they're not they're not fantastic. Very strongly flavored of the oat. I mean, I I guess I don't know why I would expect it to not be if it's got oat milk in it. I mean, generally these milk substitutes don't try to hide that they are made from something else. Soy milk tends to be a little thicker, a little. I don't know, oily may not be the right word, but but you feel it on your tongue. And nut milks do tend to taste a little bit of the nut that they're made from. So I don't know why I would expect oat milk to not taste like oats. But yeah, and honestly, the more I talk now, it's kind of leaving a not great taste on my tongue. It's still not as bad as the, what was the last one I tried? The Kiwi Life or something like that. Ki High Life. Ki, he, Kiho Life. Whatever it was. Um, it's not as bad as those. But honestly, of the like the discount store little coffee drinks I've tried, I still kind of like the cafe time ones are the best. They're the ones that taste just most like normal coffee, not not necessarily high quality coffee, but the best overall. Still, you should always be willing to try new things, and I have, and I I don't think I'll be coming back for seconds. I mean, I'll finish these, of course, because we don't throw things out here on Board of Intelligence. We, we do finish these things, even when they are genuinely not great. But we don't buy them again. Unless for some reason we want to do a follow-up video and subject ourselves to them again. And I'm rambling now, so let's stop this. I hope you found this at all interesting. I hope if um, you were interested in the Rise Nitro Brewing Company, I've helped convince you one way or the other whichever way you want to go. If you did like it, please make sure to give the video a like and subscribe and I guess share. Sharing is a thing, right? And I will see you in the next video.